Hey, what's up everybody? Retro Gaming Guy here. So today in this video, we're going to check out this controller right here from Retro Fighters. This is known as the Hunter Wireless Gamepad, and this looks very much like an original Xbox controller, but the special edition Halo controllers that were released back in the day. And in fact, I had one of these, even had one recently, loved the look of them. And then of course, I'm an Xbox guy, so I love the layout of those controls. But this right here is actually compatible with not only the Xbox, but also the Nintendo Switch and the PC. So you can get this controller right here and use it on a wide range of different platforms. It uses a 2.4 G wireless connection on here. Um, pressure sensitive buttons, Hall effect analog sticks and triggers with no drift, white and black shoulder buttons, premium textured grip, USB-C charging, accurate D-pad and wireless rumble. So that checks off all the boxes that I have when I'm looking at a controller that might fit my needs. So we're going to unbox this, take a closer look at what this has to offer and of course test it out tonight. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, here is the controller. Let's go ahead and get started opening this up. So I'll be honest, it's very rare that I get excited about a controller because at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of the higher end stuff these days offers the same specs, the same you know functions and features, but the layout differs. And this one's layout is something that resonates with me because I had this exact model that they're trying to replicate here for the original Xbox about 20 years ago. So let's see how this feels. All right, first off, right off the bat, I like the way that it looks. It actually looks a little bit darker though than what I was kind of anticipating here. You can just see the difference there. It does look a little bit darker, but I like it. It definitely you know, has that Master Chief sort of vibe. Really nice arc to the controller as well. I like the way that it kind of cups your hands here. Uh, everything's very comfortable here. It feels honestly very much like a Xbox, modern day Xbox controller in a lot of ways, but the buttons actually feel more like an Xbox 360. They're just a little bit more rounded. Good action on there though. They aren't as high as the Xbox 360s. The Xbox 360 definitely had a high or a tall action as I call it, meaning that you press down on the button a lot more to actually engage them. These are a little bit more low profile, but definitely like it. We have our start and select up here, menu button right there in the middle, which is obviously powering this on. So we are probably in pairing mode. I'll have to look at the instructions there, but really nicely put together. And I am a big fan of Retro Fighters. I've reviewed several of their products in the past. And I do want to make mention, this is something that I purchased myself. And I'm actually just noticing now we have the black and white button over here, which very much lines up with an original Xbox controller as well. So I definitely like that here. I think this would be awesome for playing original Xbox games, whether you're going through emulation or if you're playing along with a Xbox console, but everything feels really nice. The D-pad, Seems very well aligned with that of an Xbox, but let me actually grab an Xbox controller because I have one right over here so we can compare the way that these actually look and feel side by side because it definitely just feels very similar to what I'm used to here. Um, trigger buttons are very comfortable. Shoulder as well. Everything is easy to reach on here. Uh, and we do use a USB-A to USB Type-C cable to actually charge this. You can see the Type-C port right there. And inside here, I assume, is going to be our wireless receiver for our connection. Doesn't want to open up. I'm going to go full animal on this. So, oh, wow. I didn't even see any mention of this. This means that we could use this. Wow. I'm really impressed. That means that we would be able to use this right here with an original Xbox console, which I actually have one here that I've just been leaving in the box for like the last, honestly, probably about four months it's been sitting in there. Picked one up really cheap uh, from Shop Goodwill. Uh, so maybe I'll actually fire it up with this and we'll try out an old game on the original console. But take a look at this right here. This is what we would use for a PC or, you know, a modern day console. This is your wireless dongle that would, you know, sync up with the controller right here. You just simply plug this into your PC, your Nintendo Switch, whatever you want to use it with, and you'd be able to play right along. So let me grab the other Xbox controller, though. So this right here is my Xbox Series X controller. So side by side, you guys can see how these look. And this one right here is actually a little bit wider. Notice that... Um, this area down here is a little bit wider than this area right over here. So if I put it right on top, let's see, it looks pretty close there, but it does have that wider sort of uh, angle down below. So, um, and you can see it right there as I line them up, this one definitely extends, it overextends past the Xbox a little bit right here. But other than that, I mean, they are very well aligned. 
This has a little bit more of a pit over here on the D-pad than this has, but other than that, the buttons I think are a little bit smaller on here. Again, very similar to that of an Xbox 360, whereas this one, you know, obviously the buttons there, hard to see in a video, but they are a little bit broader over here. But other than that, I mean, they offer the same functions uh, to a T pretty much, except you don't have the Xbox, obviously, logo or button right here. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in t testing this out. I'm going to actually jump on a live stream tonight. So I'll use this for my live stream and test everything out over there. But we'll uh, dive into it and I'll show you guys me using this and we'll see what it's all about. All right, guys, you can see exactly how well this actually performed a couple different ways today. Now, I love the look of this. I think that it just, honestly, for me personally, because I had this exact version that they're trying to replicate here on the original Xbox, it brings back a lot of memories. It brings back the nostalgia of playing Halo with a Halo-style Master Chief controller. Just love that green. Uh, it is a little bit darker here than what I remember, and what it appears on you know the actual box here. It does seem a little bit lighter here, but still looks really cool. Very responsive. I love the rumble on here. I love the reliability of using this, and I love the fact that this, for me, was a bonus feature here. To be able to use this on an original Xbox console is an absolute home run. I love the functionality of this. So, I mean, they've really covered all your bases here. They have made something that works on modern technology, but also on the older stuff too. So you can get this controller and use it for emulation, PC gaming, modern day gaming, and retro gaming. It is a home run across the board. So I'll provide you guys with a link up here at the top of the screen to this Retro Fighters Hunter controller right here. Definitely love what it offers. So let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. Did you like it? Did you love it? Do you have any concerns about it? Let me know in the comments. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.